Okay, so on that last video, I should have mentioned that when you place this door, that's another thing that you're going to have to load. Um, so if we go to insert load family doors, it'll be this curtain wall double store, or sorry, not double, um, curtain wall single glass. And again, you just have to tab into that panel and then change that to a door. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to change, I'm going to go to a 3D view for this, this is a default 3D view, Let me hide these again, is we're going to modify some of the materials a bit. This red, this brick, red brick is a little too red. So if you look at your final deliverable, or sorry, actually your instructions. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to change the common brick to this color here, 138, 109, 93 in RGB, and we're going to add a, another brick color with this RGB value. So all materials in a Revit model are handled through the Manage tab and the first button on the Manage uh, ribbon is the materials. So that comes up. These are all the materials that are currently loaded into the project. So these come in mostly from the template. And if you load any families with their own different materials, those get loaded in at that time as well. So the search in here is pretty good. So if we just type brick. So we're going to start with brick common. And we're going to simply change the RGB value to 138, 109, 93. 138, 109, 93. So this is a little bit browner of a color. Hit OK. A little bit more subdued of a red brick. We are also going to create that other brick because the next step, we're going to start adding some decorative bands into our model. So if we come down, if we have brick selected and we come down here to this button, we can uh, duplicate a selected material. And we're going to leave it called brick common one. And we're going to change that RGB value to 87.76.69. So down here, 87, 76, 69. And that allows us to, um, or it gives us another color so that when we start adding some wall sweeps that we have a brick to use. So we're back at our north elevation. And this taller mass of the building is the one where we, go, we are going to be adding a wall sweep to dress up this large blank brick wall. But before I do that, I'm just going to go through a couple other things. Elevations don't really need grid lines, so we are going to hide these in view by category. We don't really need these, these levels going through our entire drawing. They tend to clutter it up, so what we can do is we can select this level. Before we do anything, we have to check this 3D button, because now once we make it 2D, we're only editing this particular uh, symbol, not any of the actual levels throughout the project. So the level will always go all the way over to this side, but visually in this view, we're going to drag this back to just in front of this. We can do the same thing here with this top of parapet framing. We could bring that over to there. And it just cleans up our drawing a little bit. We don't have all these extraneous lines sticking out. So now we're gonna we're gonna add our wall sweeps to this wall. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our 3D view and select both of these walls, because these are the walls that are, are being affected, and we are gonna edit type and we're gonna duplicate. And we're gonna leave it called that metal. Brick on metal stud 2, exterior brick on metal stud 2. We're going to hit OK. 
by doing that now, these two walls are their own wall type, and we can change these without affecting the rest of the model. Now I can select this wall and go to Edit Type. And we're going to edit the structure. And to get to the wall sweeps, we have to do a couple things. You can see here that they're, they're dimmed. We click on the preview to view this wall assembly. And down here in our view, we can change this to say section. And now we see the, the wall in section, in a vertical section. When we do that, we all of these buttons are now available. As it says, section preview only. We can actually modify the vertical structure of this wall using this menu now. So we are going to add a series of wall sweeps to this wall to break it up. But before we do that, we have to load several of them from our Vanco Hall website. So I'm just going to X out of there. Now we're going to go to Insert, Load Family. Now I have these in my on my computer. You'll have to download them from Vanco Hall. If you're downloading them from Vanco Hall, you can simply um, open them in Revit and then load into the project. Use that Load Into Project button. Um, so let me find labs so we need the wall sweep window sill water table and water table sill along with parapet cap so I'm gonna open all those get those all loaded into your drawing now we can go back here edit type and edit structure and it remembers that we are in section view, so we still get this. We're going to open our sweeps menu, and you can add a sweep. You can add as many as you need. And what we want this menu to look like is in our instructions here. I had to paste this together because you, unfortunately you can't make this menu any wider so I had to kind of take two screenshots and paste this together which is why this looks weird down here. But we are going to add eight wall sweeps with all of these settings. Now these distances look very very accurate or very specific I should say. They come from simply measuring to the brick lines, the brick coursing lines um, on the on the walls to get these all at the right height, because these, of course, happen at brick coursings. So I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. So this profile, I can load the parapet cap now, or I should say I can select it now that I've loaded it. The material I'm going to set as precast, precast concrete. Not concrete cast in place, but precast. The the color is a little has a little bit of a redder tint than our standard concrete color. The distance is thirty nine feet four. From the base, on the exterior side, I don't recall if there's an offset. There's no offset on this one. So let's go back, hit OK. Now, if you get this, it'll say, could not create integral wall sweep for wall instance. The sweep is outside, position is outside of its wall. Please check sweep parameters. Just hit OK and hit OK again. And you can see the problem is our sample height of our wall is not tall enough to actually show that. However, our actual wall is tall enough, and you can see that we now have a parapet cap here. I'm just going to throw a quick section through this wall here so that we can see what's going on here in section. I'm going to change this to three quarters of an inch, change my detail level to fine, and you can see what that did it puts a parapet cap at the top of this wall. Now the way that sweeps work is they, they reference the top of the sweep 
So that 39 feet 4 is actually the top of this, and the remainder to the 38 8 is made up by the height of that actual sweep profile. Now I've given you the sweep profile, but I'm just kind of explaining how this works if you were to create your own profiles. So let's go back to, actually we can do it right from here. We can select this wall, edit type. Now we're going to keep getting this error that this thing is outside of our wall. So to, to fix that, we can go back into our structure. What we can do is hit the modify button. And now we can come in here and we can choose the top of this wall, that line, unlock it, and then Oops. Let me start over. Modify. Unlock it, and then we can just make this wall something like 40 feet tall using the dimensions. Now that will go up above here, but because our actual wall doesn't go up above, it doesn't matter. But as long as this includes our sweep, we won't get that error anymore. So now we can simply go into our sweeps menu and, and keep adding the sweeps. Now this next sweep, which is a brick course, is not loaded in either. That however does not come from Venko Hall. That's in our out of the box content. So if we go back to US Imperial, come down here to profiles, and find uh, wall profiles. We'll find wall sweep brick course. Now we don't want the brick soldier course. That's already loaded into this template. We want just the wall sweep brick course. And that's now loaded. So now we can add. We can find wall sweep brick course. And this second one down is three bricks. This material is also going to be precast. The distance here is pretty specific, so make sure you get it right. It's 30 feet 5 and 99 250 sixths of an inch. Now again, that comes from measuring to a very specific coursing. We would never actually dimension this accurately. We would we would dimension something uh, a little, you know, maybe to an eighth, we would round to an eighth of an inch. However, to get things to look correctly in Revit, we're going to actually measure this from the drawing and use that. Base, exterior, our offset here is negative three and five eighths of an inch. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that zero to show you what I'm doing there. Our setback is zero, everything else is the same. So let me add, hit OK. And now we can zoom in here and I'll show you what that does. When you add a wall sweep without an offset, it automatically adds it to the exterior face. So that, that zero line is essentially out here. Or I should say it's always the thickness of the sweep itself. And the thickness of this sweep is uh, three and five eighths of an inch or you know a brick thickness. So if we go back into sweeps and change our offset to negative three and five eighths, it will create that wall sweep within that wall and it cuts the wall. So now we have this three course brick band of cast stone. So we're going to keep adding all of these. Our next one is a two brick course. So wall sweep brick course two bricks. Now make sure you select the right one. A lot of these look very similar. This is also precast. This height is, oh, you know what? I screwed this one up. This is 30. This one is 20 feet and 11 256 